Hey guys, so iOS 17.3 is now officially out for everyone. You can download the new software for your iPhones and your iPads as of right now, as of today. Now, of course, in this video, as per usual, I wanted to share with you guys a few settings on the latest updates that you should change immediately after you update to get a better user experience and, of course, to take advantage of some of the latest new features on iOS 17.3. Now, in this video, I also want to talk about a few things you should also look into after you update in order order to take advantage of some of the latest new changes as well. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing I want to talk about is a few things you should definitely look into. Number one, there's a new wallpapers. This one right here, the new Unity wallpaper looks really nice. As you can see right here, if you update to iOS 17.3, you'll find the new Unity collection right here. So let's go ahead and scroll down and you'll be able to choose from different colors options available here by swiping to the right, just like so. I think this wallpaper looks really nice. And when you add that blur background, it gives the iPhone that really nice look so that's the one that i'm rocking right now as you can see right here and you can also go into your apple watch app go into watch faces and you also have the unity watch face available for you as well with different options to choose from of course i'm rocking that on my Apple Watch Ultra, as you can see right there as well. So yeah, you should definitely take a look at the new wallpaper and a new watch face available with iOS 17.3 and watchOS 10.3, which is of course available right now as well. Now, one thing I always recommend everyone to do right after they update their iPhones is to go into the App Store, tap into the top right portion where they have their avatar here, and then swipe down to refresh. And if there's any app updates, they should be available for you just like so immediately after you update now keep in mind automatic updates do take maybe 24 to 48 hours to kick in so if you want the best compatibility with your applications this is the fastest way to update your apps for better performance on the latest os even if you have that automatic app updates feature enabled i recommend you do this so that you get those updates immediately sometimes developers do push those updates immediately after release of a new major software. Now, one thing I also recommend is to check for carrier updates. Although some iPhones automatically download these carrier updates, sometimes they take time to kick in as well. So you wanna go into the general section, you wanna go into the about section, and after updating to iOS 17.3, you could see a carrier update populate for you here. Now, if you do see the carrier update, of course, you wanna make sure you update your carrier settings on your iPhone for better network compatibility and performance on the latest iOS 17.3. Now I wanna shift my attention over to a few settings you should definitely change and look into after updating to iOS 17.3. And the number one feature highlighted here is going to be stolen device protection. Now this feature will help you stay protected in the rare circumstances where someone steals your phone and they also know the passcode to your phone, the same passcode you use to unlock your device. So if someone steals your phone and knows the passcode, they can actually of course go into your iPhone and iOS 17.2 or lower, they can actually go into settings they can go into iCloud settings and change your Apple ID password in here just by using your passcode. Stolen device protection will prevent this from happening. Again, it will protect you in the rare circumstances where someone steals your phone and also happens to know your passcode. Now, in order to enable this feature, all you have to do is go into settings. You want to scroll down where it says face ID and passcodes right here. Enter your passcode and then you want to scroll down and you'll find right there it is stolen device protection. You want to make sure you enable this feature. Now, if someone ever tries to turn this feature off, they'll get prompted with face ID and it doesn't have the passcode fell back in order for this to actually protect you. So it's not going to fall back into passcode if they continue to attempt. So this will protect your devices in those circumstances. Yeah, this is a direct answer to the Wall Street Journal report from last year where iPhone users were being targeted by using the passcode in order to obtain access to Apple ID accounts. And this is a direct protection to this. I recommend you turn this on immediately after you update and never really turn it off. Now, even if you do turn this feature off, you'll get prompted with the security delay, which is a feature also built in that protects you for an additional hour. So it will take an hour in order for the actual changes to be implemented. Now, this security delay uses location services to detect if you're at home. So if you're at home and you want to turn off uh, the actual stolen device protection feature, which I don't recommend, then you'll still have to wait an 
hour for this feature to actually disable entirely and then you can go make some changes to your Apple ID but again this only applies if you're outside of your home if you're at home or in a recognized location this fallback security delay feature will not be activated on your device but yeah stolen device protection and of course security delay built in in order to give you that additional layer of protection and now another great feature built into ios 17.3 is the new apple music collaborative playlist and i highly recommend you guys go ahead and check it out so you jump into apple music and then you want to go into your playlist so if you have a playlist that you've created you can jump into that playlist and on the top portion of your screen here you can tap and start a playlist collaboration i've already done this of course i've been using ios 17.3 for quite some time now so you tap here and then you get right there the prompt to start a playlist collaboration if you enable this feature right here you would have to approve everyone that gets this link so you want to go ahead and enable that if you want everyone to get approved but if you want them to automatically join just start a collaboration without enabling this option and you'll be able to share this playlist and collaborate with people in of course your contacts you can also share by airdrop email of course messages and you also have the option to tap here and share via qr code so there's a qr code available here for you to share as well so you can collaborate with friends listen to music it's a really fun feature i've been using it for quite some time now once you're listening to music everyone on this collaboration can actually share emoji reactions so you have these reactions here where you can tap on any emoji and you can react to a specific song on that particular playlist and these are some of the settings and changes i recommend you look into once you update to ios 17.3 of course stolen device protection being one of those options that i highly recommend you immediately enable and never turn it off after you update thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoy the video enjoy ios 17.3 and i'll see you guys on the next one peace